Okay, we need a chest here and let's get the social sign set up. Um, just like that. Oh! Oh, hello! Hi, didn't see you there, sorry about that. Uh, I'm just setting up my next unfair map and, uh... Oh, I've just remembered. Today's episode is a viewer suggestion. In this episode of Map Making Basics, we're going to be answering the question left by Death Star Cool, which is in episode 2, you put down a sign that with text that forms a link. How did you do that? So let's get exactly into how I did that in this episode of Map Making Basics. Thank you to Sticky Fist and Hosting for making this series possible. If you are a map maker and want to get your map out to the rest of the world, head to trial.stickypiston.co, scroll down to the bottom of the page and click submit your map. Upload and play thousands of maps at trial.stickypiston.co, link will be in the description. Once again, thank you Sticky Piston Hosting for making this series possible, let's get right into the video. So I believe this is what you are on about. When you click the sign, it brings up some links that you can click and it takes you to those places. Now in order for this to work, we're going to have to hop outside of Minecraft and onto the internet to use a web tool. So what you want to do is you want to load up your favourite web browser and you want to go to MC Stacker and you'll be presented with this page here, that's mcstacker.net, that will be linked down below. And what you want to do is you want to go to give. Now we're going to be giving ourselves a sign that already has this information in it. Now the interface is fairly simple here, but I'm going to walk over everything. On the right of the page, you've got your command output, that's what we'll be putting into Minecraft once we're done. And on the left, you've got your actual area where you're setting up the command. So, we're going to want to leave the target, we don't need to do anything inside this green box. All we need to do is come down to give item, that's the yellow box, and where it says filter, type in sign. And you'll see you get the different types of sign, I'm just going to go for the oak sign because it's nice and simple. And what we're going to do is, you can give it a name, I'm going to call it the social sign, and we're going to make that red and bold, just like that. Um, not bold, not italic, sorry, bold. There you go, so the social sign. Uh, don't need to worry about the law or the count. All we need to do now is we need to go down to here and we need to go to this area here, the one that looks like a sign with a red line and it's, uh, it's a sign interface. So, what we're going to start doing is we're going to start by typing in, in the value on the right of that little uh, slightly lighter yellow box. We're going to type whatever you want. I'm going to type... Uh, I don't know, check, check me out on, and then, as, as you know, we run out of space. If I keep typing, it's going to look like it's going onto the next line, but it won't. Uh, so there's only about 15 things you can have, uh, 15 uh, characters that include spaces, numbers, letters, and things like that. So check me out on, and then what you're going to want to do is above where that check me out on is just being placed. So above where the text is being written, you'll see line one of four. You want to do go to next line and that will take the sign text down. Now we want to do, this is where things get tricky, if you're having more than one colour, you want to go U. So I'm going to do YouTube uh, as two colours. So I'm going to do the red first. We're going to make it bold first. So we're going to do the red first. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go section and you're going to want to add a section and then you're going to want to go tube like this you have to change the colour again so make that white if it's the YouTube logo and then make it bold again then you have to add another section make it black or whatever colour you want you have to add a space and and then another section and uh, if it fits a space Twitter. Now I don't think, there you go, that's not going to fit. So what we're going to have to do is actually delete that section. We're going to have to go to a new line, so back over here. And we're going to do Twitter. And we're going to do that in Twitter blue, which is aqua. That's green. That is very green. And we're going to make that bold. So there you go, check me out on YouTube and Twitter. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to make it so that when you click this sign, it does something, brings up links. 
Uh, this will require us to go to another website, but first of all, let's get the click event sorted. Now you can see on each of these little boxes, wherever you click, you'll get a different red highlight. For the thing that we're doing next, it doesn't really matter what you do, I'll just do the YouTube, uh, or check me out on, <laughs> in that case. So you're going to want to do a click event, and you need it to be on run command. Now, the command we're going to do is a tell raw command, so open up a new tab in your web browser, and type in uh, tell raw, just like that, uh, T-E-L-L-R-A-W. And then what you need to do is you need to look for Tell Raw Editor for Minecraft, that's Minecraft.tools. And you want to click on that, then you'll come to a page that looks like this, wait for it to load. This is what it looks like when it loaded, and then what you need to do is just type what you want in here. So for example, I'm going to have YouTube and my YouTube link, then I'm going to have Twitter and my Twitter link, so I'll put those in now. Make sure when you're typing in your links that they have HTTPS colon slash slash at the start, otherwise they won't actually work as links. But yep, once you've got all your text in, you can colour it in, so highlight what you want to be in bold. Um, so let's say the YouTube, we want that in bold. Highlight it and press the B. Same with this. And then we're going to change the colours on it, uh, so we'll make this one red. And this one gives you an indication of the colours this time, which is a bit nicer. Uh, allows you to actually see what you're doing. Uh, then we'll do that. There you go, YouTube and Twitter. And then if you want to change the colour of the links, you can. So now, hover over one of your links, and you want to press Create. Uh, no, you don't. You want to do the Click Event, which is the one that looks like a little mouse uh, next to the colour. Okay, and once you do that, you want open URL, and you just want to type in the same URL. Uh, the same URL that's highlighted, that is. And you want to do that for both addresses. That's uh, if you have more than one URL. And then again, once you've done that, press preview. And if both of these have a little mouse next to them, and they both say click open URL, then you're good to go. Just make sure the links are correct. Then we can press generate the command. Now, this will give you a bunch of commands. The only ones you need are the ones that are down here. Uh, the ones in Spanish, they're not the ones you need. You need the ones in English. Uh, and you want the one that says uh, tell raw command for Minecraft Java edition. That's this long one here. Uh, so, yep, let's copy and paste this command. We'll go back into MC Stacker and then under click event, we will paste that into there. So, all of that command that we've just done has gone into there. Now you can see our giant command is up in the top right over here. What we're going to do is we're going to press the copy button and then we can head back into Minecraft. So back in Minecraft then, we're going to load up a command block. Uh, any command block will do. For this, I'm just going to be using the repeating, uh, sorry, the impulse command block, the orange one. You want to open a command block, paste in your command, change it to always active, and what you should see is you should get a sign. There you go, I've got the sign, the social sign. Now when you place it down, Check me out on YouTube and Twitter, and when you click on it, fingers crossed, there you go, the links appear, and you should be able to click on those links, and then you will be prompted to go to the web page. And if you don't want to lose your social signs, say for example you load up a different map, and you don't want to have to type in that command again, or do this process again, go back to a video I released recently about top 5 things you should know when making Minecraft maps, as I tell you everything you need to know about saved toolbars. I mean, look at these things. Look how handy they are. Just opening different inventories, different items, I mean hey, it's how this is a thing. So there we go, Death Star Cool, I hope that answered your question. Guys, if you have anything you would like to know for one of these episodes, let me know in a comment down below. All of your feedback is greatly appreciated. Uh, so yeah, hopefully you guys learned something new as well. It's very, very easy to do lots of online tools. I'll link the tools that I used today alongside some more down below. Uh, don't worry, this isn't going to be an actual unfair map. I released one recently, actually. It's called Unfair Nothing. Um, if you haven't seen the trailer, here it is. So yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. Bye-bye. Oh yeah, subscribe. Here is a typical unfair map. And here's Unfair Nothing. Notice anything different?